Hey my friends, how's it going? Well, I just got back from a, a little vacation that we took to Santa Fe, New Mexico. And uh, I didn't really get much footage. I got some, we rode motorcycles there. And I got some uh, from the GoPro on the on the helmet, but can't really see too much. So I'll post some of the videos of that, but I just wanted to make a short video to tell you about the place, what we saw and how it was, just in case you're ever thinking about going. Here's a little review of it. So first, um, we drove out there from Louisiana and uh, took over 11 hours. We stopped in um, Amarillo and that's where we stayed the night at a hotel and then from Amarillo we drove on to Albuquerque and that's where that was about four hours from Amarillo to Albuquerque and we um, went to the Harley shop. That's where we picked up our motorcycles. We're renting them. There's a, a franchise called Eagle Riders. You can rent motorcycles through the Eagle Riders company and they're usually at uh, Harley dealerships and so you just show up there, you give them your information and they have the bike ready for you because you do it online before you get there and uh, that's how we did it anyway. And I rented the Heritage Softail Classic and that I wanted, the one of the reasons that we were doing this is because I wanted to know what it was would be like to ride a big heavy motorcycle. I mean, the soft tail isn't a, that big compared to other Harleys, but it um, it's a pretty big bike. And I am 5'5", five five and I weigh 135. And so I'm used, I'm used to riding my Sportster and I also have a Kawasaki Ninja. And so they're smaller bikes and they're easy for me to handle. And this one, I was worried that it would be too heavy. I wouldn't be able to ride it, but I wanted to see because I want a, a more comfortable bike to ride long distances. And so we tried that one out and just to see what, see if I could handle it. <laughs> and uh, and so when they, when we went out there, he showed me it, I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, it's got a low enough seat where I could put my feet flat on the ground. That was great. It had low center of gravity. So I wasn't worried too much about just not being able to hold it up. I was able to sit on it and hold it up just fine. One thing I did notice is on roads that have a, a steep angle on them, like, you know, for water to drain off when you stop at a stop si stoplight and you're on that little angle, it really wants to fall over. You have to hold it tight when you're going, it's okay. But when you stop, you gotta remember that you're on a heavy bike and you gotta hold it up. Um, other than that, I couldn't really push it backwards too well and I was nervous about gravel but this one little road that we had to drive up into uh, was kind of gravelly and it did just fine. I mean I drove right up in there with no problem but uh, parking it was a little bit of a problem for me because I had problems pushing it backwards and there are a lot of hills in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, it, it made me nervous. And so I had to get my husband to park it for me. I just stop it on the road. Uh, I mean, I, you know, pull off so I'm not in the middle of the road. And then after he would park his, he would come back and get mine. And so I don't think I'm really ever going to 
buy one because if I can't really drive it, that's kind of silly to own something that you can't totally handle all the way, you know what I mean? But having that experience was really good. I, I enjoyed it. We put about 300 miles on the bikes and and it was a lot of fun. And on a side note, uh, let me tell you a little bit about how the motorcycle handled, how I liked it. Um, it was it was easy to drive when I got on it. I was really comfortable. The seat was nice. The amount of distance from the ground to the seat was good. I could put my feet flat down and I just, I felt like it was a really strong motorcycle that could take me anywhere and I felt like I could control it. The shifting of the gears was no problem. The, you know, where my feet went to, to you know, break and it was comfortable. I didn't have to stretch. I didn't have to feel uncomfortable. It was just right there. All the other motorcycles I'm used to driving had just foot pegs and these had the actual floorboards and just sitting there with my feet on them was like, yeah, this is nice. The handles were easily, I could reach them just fine. And it was, it was really comfortable. Other than the weight of the bike itself, I really liked it. It did have the largest engine of all of the bunch that I was riding with. So I could really go, not that I did, but I knew I was, you know, possible if a person felt like doing that. Um, the curves going down, downshifting so that you wouldn't fly off the mountain, no problem. It was, it, because of the size of the engine, it held the bike really well with the transmission and everything, just downshift a little bit and got complete control. I liked it. I really, I really enjoyed driving that bike. I mean, the mirrors, I could see everything behind me. There was no problem with them. My little, it's nice. It was a really pretty bike too. It was classy. It was had a lot of style to it. And, oh, anyone wondering what it's like to drive that Softail Classic? Well, it was nice. I really enjoyed it. But getting back to my story, we took the first day it was raining, so we had to take the interstate from Albuquerque to Santa Fe and I'm not sure the time, maybe an hour or something like that it took. It wasn't bad. And uh, there was rain. We wanted to take the turquoise trail, but there was a big storm coming. So we stayed away from that. And then, but we did take it on the way back. And it was, it was really pretty and it was a fun drive. We stopped at, on the way back, we stopped at a place called Ma uh, Madrid. And that's where I got some stuff. This is called, um, my husband bought this for me, a squash blossom. It's a handmade uh, from the Native Americans who live in that area. And uh, since turquoise is my first stone, <laughs> it's perfect. Um, but it was a really neat little town and it was so cold in the morning. This is the end of May and it was, it was cold. I had on my jacket, my padded pants and another windbreaker inside of the jacket and my gloves and I was still freezing and I, I get cold easy so you can't really judge it off of that but uh but it was cold and so I sat we got to Madrid pretty early in the morning I had a cup of coffee and that warmed me up and I sat on my bike and let them go look at the town while I enjoyed just people watching 
um, and warming up like a lizard on a stone. <laughs> But I got warmed up enough and then we drove on to Albuquerque and it was a nice jive. And one day it rained, we didn't get to go riding, so we just walked around the town. The showers it was off and on, so it, uh, it wasn't pouring down rain when we were walking or anything. Uh, and there was a lot of, if you are thinking about going to Santa Fe and you're wondering what's there, I'd say it's pretty much a touristy town from what I saw. Uh, uh, it was nice, it was really pretty, it was unique. You got to see all these adobe type houses and everything there was made with the same style architecture. And so it was really pretty. And the little shops, they had all this different art that some things were just so unique and I, I love looking at art. Uh, some of it was just so beautiful, but they wanted, you know, thousands of dollars for this stuff. So I didn't get anything. Uh, I got the necklace and this and a couple of other hand embroidered shirts that were nice, but not like art. <laughs> Plus we couldn't drive it back on the motorcycles anyway. That's a good thing about riding a motorcycle. Can't buy a lot of stuff. <laughs> and there was a few restaurants we went to. There was a breakfast restaurant. I don't remember the name of it, but I'll put it right here. And I really enjoyed it. The, the wait staff was really super friendly and the food was delicious. That was my favorite place. And uh, and a couple of other places that were more touristy, trendy, um, and the food was okay, but nothing super special or anything. We found a club called the Matador, and it was just these little uh, steps going down, these little uh, concrete steps in the sidewalk look like go down to a basement or something, and we're like, let's check this place out. We walked in there, and it was all dark, and there was rock and roll music playing. I think Iron Maiden was playing when we walked in the door, and there was people sitting up at the bar. The, the, wait, the waiter, the, the bartender, the chick was like all in leather and stuff, and at first I was a little bit nervous going in there, and then... I started listening to the music and I was like, you know what? This is my kind of place. I like it here. This is this is better than any of the other places I've been in so far in, in Santa Fe. So we stayed in there for a while, had a few drinks, uh, looked at the walls, there was all these posters and people graffitied on the walls and it was 
it was a little dark place, but it was really cool. I enjoyed that. That was my favorite thing to do there. Uh, besides riding the motorcycles, we went up to uh, Taos. So there's, it's called the High Road to Taos. And I always thought that that was because it was a ski resort type of town. It would be really super fancy, but actually Santa Fe is more fancy than, Ta than Taos. And well, what I saw of it anyway, Taos is more of a, a regular city. There's little downtown shopping areas that had the adobe looking, um, place stores but there was a lot of regular stuff there too and um, but the ride was was really nice up in the mountains and curvy roads and there was hills and signs that said watch out for cows but all I could imagine was a cow falling down the hill on us because there wasn't really any grazing land. It was all just rocky, but, um, but it was really pretty to see. And then we took the, the low road back. And so high road to Taos and the low road from Taos to Santa Fe. And that was a nice ride too. And here's a little, little bit of the video I got on it. that's about it that was uh we stayed there four days i think and just the drive there and back was hard hard on me to sit in the car for that long and um if you're going through right west of amarillo there is a feedlot and hundreds thousands of cows 
and the smell so bad so bad <laughs> it was there was a guy riding a motorcycle up. There was a guy riding a bicycle right past it. <laughs> My husband says, I don't see how that guy is alive. <laughs> it was it was bad. It was bad. I mean, we turned on the recycle air, but it was still. So bring some kind of something to cover your face for 15 minutes because that's how long it took us driving down the interstate to stop smelling it. Sorry about that. That just left an impression on me and I had to tell you about it. <laughs> but other than that, everything was great. If you're planning on going, planning on riding a motorcycle, you should do it. If you're not planning on it, maybe you should. It was, it was a lot of fun. So just want to say thanks for watching my video. Y'all are all awesome. I hope you all have a wonderful day. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. And look at that cactus back there with those spikes on it. All right. That was cool.